my channel it is Tuesday a work day and I'm getting my hair done today so I was like let me bring them on a few days in my life haven't done something like that in a while and yeah a few things I forgot I feel like I have other things that I want to do this week but the main thing is that I'm doing my hair today and I'm really excited about it I recently did it where I had added more highlights um, but I'm doing the Brazilian blowout and if you have frizzy or curly hair, you are very familiar with these types of things. And I haven't done one in years. Like I remember doing one right before my wedding and that was four years ago. So that is what I'm gonna do. It really does help with my hair and my frizz. I have a lot of hair and it sometimes feels unmanageable, especially in this Florida humidity where it just like, doesn't stay where you want it to stay and I have very dry hair and coarse hair and so those two things mixed with having a lot of hair mixed with humidity it's hard so I'm doing the Brazilian because it helps and I'm very excited about it it's funny because I did it right before my wedding and on my wedding day it was like so hot when we were taking pictures um, right before the ceremony and I remember sweating like in the back of my like I was sweating and you couldn't even tell because I did it and it was if you've gone to Puerto Rico it is humid and my hair looked amazing on my wedding day so that is all thanks to the Brazilian blowout um anyway I just did my coffee this is my cute little mug from Magnolia's um Magnolia Press in Waco. I love it. I wanted to show you. My sister got me this um, warmer for like your drinks, specifically coffee, because <laughs> one day I was in California and I never do this, but I was like, I'm running late. I like had a mug. I brought it in the car as I've seen other people do. And I'm like, do my makeup drinking the coffee and it was lukewarm and i like i can't even i can't even do it like it was so gross and she started laughing because i was like gagging i was like ah, like there's like i need it to be i don't need it to be hot hot but it cannot be like lukewarm so she was like she gave me that for christmas she was like may your coffee never be cold so it's i use it every single day um and it works like wonders but yeah i'm gonna do some work i'm gonna get ready for my meeting and i'll talk to you later okay i just got done with two of my calls and i got the set of nurse to just tidy up and so i'm gonna vacuum really quick i made the bed and then i just kind of want to like put stuff away before i continue with the rest of the day <laughs> don't eat breakfast or anything like that um i'm gonna have a little bagel get down but in the meantime or i'm gonna make a bagel and then i'm gonna do some quick cooking rolled oats it's really making the overnight oats but when i was in california my sister would make me this and she didn't do it overnight she did it for like 20 minutes 
Um, and it tasted fine because it's obviously a quick cooking roll dose. So I'm just gonna do that while I have my bagel. Let it sit in the fridge for 20 minutes. I just need something like bread before I have something as sugary as this. It's, whoa. So it's these rolled oats, Trader Joe's chia seeds, syrup for sweetener, Greek yogurt, milk. And then I put strawberries on top. I can't remember if she puts one cup or half a cup. I've been putting one cup the last two days and I don't know if that's a lot. It's tasted the same, but I don't know if it makes a difference. Also, the nominations for the Oscars came out today. Does anyone care? I do, my family does, but not many people care. It's like our Super Bowl. We love the Oscars. We love award season, really. So we watch. Golden Globes, Critics' Choice Award, the Emmys, the Oscars. It's just so fun, I don't know. And then sometimes, you know, if I see like a specific show that's getting a lot of wins, I start watching that show. It gives me like inspo to see what I need to be watching. And obviously The Bear won a ton of Emmys. Um, Beef. I've never heard of it, but they are sweeping and I kind of want to see it. And then obviously for movies, it's Barbie, Oppenheimer. There's one called Poor Things, I think. It's with Emma Stone and she's getting a lot of like the awards for that. And so I want to watch it. I don't know where, I don't know if it's in theater, but that one looks good. So I just like it. It's really fun. I love a good red carpet moment. It's just, I love it. I guess I should update you on my life. We are, my lease expires in our apartment in March. And so we are moving in with my parents. And we've decided to move in with my parents because we want to start the process of saving up for a home and really getting a home and it's just you can do it faster you know by saving all your money instead of paying rent and so i'm very excited to just get started on that process i just like i know that it's like a privilege to have that option and you know i'm very thankful for my parents they've just they're just so helpful um but yeah i'm just i can't like we want to you know start a family soon and I can't live in a one bedroom apartment. I mean, I sh I'm sure I can. It's just like, I would rather, you know, just start that process and hopefully get a home soon. Um, we are very open to like location. Obviously we haven't really started the process at all. Um, we just want to like, you know, cut out a few debt and then start really just saving every dollar to a down payment. And it just sucks like after COVID how in crazy everything has gotten. It's just so annoying to see, but it is what it is. We are here and you know, I am confident that we'll be fine. Um, and I'm just excited to like start that journey and you know, my parents are awesome. They're so helpful. Like we're ready to help them um, in any way that we can and so, that is, you know, that is the move. Sometimes I wish I would have just stayed living there because after we lived with them during COVID and then I was just like ready to like be on my own. And sometimes I just wish I would have stayed and just saved every dollar since then, but it's fine. We're here and we're good. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm, you know, hoping this is just us planning, right? Like nothing is set in stone, but I'm hoping that like, Maybe by the end of this year, early next year, we're either, we're doing something, we're closing, we're choosing, we are putting down payments, I don't know. Um, so I'm excited to just to get that started. But yeah, March, March is coming up. We are 
we have to be out by the first week of March, but my parents live very close to our apartment community, so we're just gonna do it slowly. Like I, we have to get a U-Haul for like small things, but um, I kind of want to just like move in phases, like move stuff from our bedroom, like for our closets. Um, a lot of the stuff in the kitchen, I'm not going to use. So, you know, just putting those in boxes and kind of cleaning up. I'm excited. I love like cleaning, throwing away, giving away. Like I, it makes me happy. So I, that's why I'm, I think I'm excited the most is to just like organize, pack, and then like knowing that we are just like, getting started on this journey is exciting like moving in with my parents and being able to save is like such a blessing and i'm just so thankful so i just wanted to give a little update because yeah you'll be seeing that old room again it's funny because we always tell my parents like you cannot sell this house like the amount of times my brother did the same thing like he moved back he saved he got a house like during covid we all lived with my parents like my sister moved from turkey she was living there we were she moved to florida during 2020 moved in with my parents we were living with my parents during 2020 and it's just like i tell my mom i'm like this is like a house of refuge like you cannot sell this house um so i'm very thankful for them but yeah all right let's make a little bagel situation okay i just got ready let us go to get my hair down say hi Mia. The color is so pretty. How cute is that? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, girl. I can blow dry forward, sure, but I still want it to. Work. Yes. Okay, definitely. Cute. So cheekbone is um, my shortest point is going to be that, and then I'm going to open. Yeah. I might just touch up your layers a little bit okay because I have to make sure they connect with oh, these see. bad boys yeah um, I basically measured where they all fall forward and that's pretty much it okay. there shouldn't be any here from here moving all the way this way yeah so I don't think I want to get thicker with the bangs okay I just kind of want to like, let them chill and make yeah. sure this looks good but almost cried I always almost cry like, watching the fireworks it's been a while and it got me <laughs> I, don't know. I was gonna say perks of having an annual pass is that you go after 6 p.m. 
you eat, maybe have a dessert, watch the fireworks and go home. It's 9 p.m. Or go to the Hall of Presidents if you want. <laughs> you like the you Hall know? of Presidents. And now, what's, what's the one in Epcot, the French one? We just went. The same vibe. Why is it dark? Oh, yeah. So that was a success. I, I love French my ears. One, and we also did the imagination. Oh my God. I love the ears. So I was saying that there was ones that I liked, but they were, I think they're Valentine's Day collection maybe. Pink and red, very cute, very me. But I already have a pink and purple one and I just felt like I don't have a color like this. So I'm glad I went with them. And it's very hot. Good morning. It is Saturday, 7.40 in the morning and I am up because I'm going to a Pilates class. I am very excited. I signed up through ClassPass. Um, and I'm just so excited. I woke up like two seconds ago because the place is very close to my apartment. Um, but I haven't done a class like this where there's like equipment. I've always done like at home stuff, Melissa Wood Health. Um, years ago in college, I've done like Pilates, but it wasn't with equipment. It was more just like a class. I, maybe it was just yoga but I've always gravitated more towards this type of exercise just because I feel like it's hard, but it's not, you know, running, jumping up and down. Like, if you remember, I did at 45, and I really did enjoy it, but there came a point where I was not looking forward to going to classes because I don't like, you know, I just don't like that type of exercise. And while I was there, it was, it was cool and, like, you know you kind of didn't think about it because like put the music as loud go like everyone's you know you know what to do at least you're not just like making it up but I just stopped um so I joined through class pass and I'm trying to compare like what's the better deal whether it's is it going with like the gym with a specific fitness place or is it better through class pass just because i feel like with class pass like they give you the option of trying new things like f45 is on there um club pilates boxing like different classes and i have the opportunity if i want to to like change the different places that i go to which i like because i don't know i feel like i just like it so and then i feel like you get like a better deal with class pass and I'm still looking into it, but I think that would it would be really cool if you're able to go, if you live in different states to different classes, not live in different states, but if you visit a different state, you can go to a class. I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, this is my first class and I'm very excited. You know, I'm one of those people, they say come 10 minutes early and I'm like, okay, 7.40 so I can, you know, get in there at 7.50. Um, I got these socks at Target yesterday, they're the grip socks and... I don't know, we'll see. I'm very nervous because I know it's really hard and I know I'm going to be shaking and I should have bought gloves and I was like, that's so, like, I don't want to wear gloves, but my hands are so sweaty that I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to slip. I'm sweaty right now even talking about it. Um, so maybe in the future if I, like, do it often and, like, be serious about it. But I'm excited. It's a Saturday. It's 7.40. I feel good. I'm like, I... You know, I remember like with F45, I would go to their morning classes. Sometimes I would go to their 6 a.m. classes. And like when you leave, you just feel so elite. You feel good. You feel like energized. So it's bringing me back to those times. And the good thing is that if I continue going to this place, it's still like maybe 15 minutes from my mother's house. Right now it's very convenient from where I'm, from where I'm living at, but I don't know. We'll see. There's also Club Pilates. I have no idea. Right. I'm going to record on my phone in there. Hope I don't embarrass myself and then I'll update you later. Okay, that was intense. Really, really good. But I feel like throwing up. 
And I didn't realize how I would feel like this because it's not like cardio intense, but you are working out every area of your body and it's insane and it was so good. I was just like, wow, I kept looking at the other girls and I'm like, this is a mental game. Like you gotta just like breathe through it. But like, it was so hard. Um, I really, really liked it. I was sweating like I've never sweat before. Like I never sweat here. This was all wet. Like I was drenched. And it, but it was like so, it felt so good. So other than feeling nauseous, it was awesome. And the instructor was really nice and he was very like accommodating to me. He was like teaching me, showing me, like doing all the things. Um, sometimes I did it like the, you know, the easier route because like I just couldn't do it. And I'm like, I know if I keep coming, I know that I could do it. But the way that my body couldn't do any anything. I was like, put your legs up. Like, it was like circles. And then he was like, okay, now lift your legs up. And I'm like, I can't. My legs are literally like noodles. Um, but it felt just so good. So I definitely want to come back and try other form, like other classes. He was like, this is the regular one. We have an easier one. I was like, I would come to the regular one with all the expert girlies. But um, I definitely want to get the gloves because it was like, my, my my hands just sweat yeah oh my god it was so good but i feel nauseous and i feel like i have to sit in the car for a few minutes to just like take a breath and recuperate so yeah it was so it was harder than i thought i was like i know it's gonna be hard but the way that my legs were like noodles it they couldn't they couldn't do half the stuff like he was like okay now we're gonna do this and i'm like my legs i'm literally gonna fall on this machine <laughs> like it's crazy um but yeah very cute i feel really good though like i love though because i feel like i've been active you know growing up and all of that and so that feeling of like being sore is kind of like a really good feeling you're just like i'm sore i'm working out like it feels good so i definitely want to keep coming um but i'm not okay <laughs> Okay, I just finished showering. I'm going to put a hair mask on my hair. I really like the Eva NYC hair mask. And just want to leave it for a couple of hours and then rinse it and do my hair. But hair is really just in the drier side. So I like doing this at least once a week. Really just get a get it all in there and then it really does make a difference when I rinse it and then blow dry so just gonna leave that in my hair and then make maybe some overnight oats with strawberries and coffee sounds pretty good okay it is later in the day I ended up just like leaving it for longer than I uh, thought I would but totally fine I just showered and this is my hair air like air drying with the Brazilian blowout and my hair typically would be very curly right now in the roots specifically and so you still see like how I have a little bit of curl but um, even just like the how my hair feels it feels a lot um, softer so this is very nice I'm going in with the Bumble and Bumble Hydro Hyaluronic Treatment Lotion. And um, I really like it. It's what I put on before. So it's the first step I put on. Um, and then I kind of like, I need a lot of it. And then I'll brush my hair out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. And this really helps with frizz, um, making your hair feel strong. I have to add a lot of product to my hair because my hair just sucks in everything. And the last thing I do is go in with the Bondi Boost Heat Protectant Spray. I really like this stuff and I really like all of their products. I'm open to new heat, protect heat protectants, but 
I am, I think I've said this before, where like, I don't want to try anything else until I, you know, finish something that I already have. And that's just like, you know, I don't need five of everything. So I'm going to use that and then explore other options for heat protectant. So, and then now... I don't do this all the time. It really just depends on my mood, but I just divide it into my hair in half. I do one section and then the other, and then I'll end up doing this last. Let's see how long it takes for me to do my hair. It is 9.04. I'm gonna start it. I need to fix my bangs because I probably should get a smaller brush, especially for these babies. Um, but I'm also styling them with my curling iron tomorrow. So I'm just probably going to leave them as is. But um, okay, that was 30 minutes and it normally takes me an hour. So it really, I love just the perks of the Brazilian blowout. Um, my hair feels soft and again 30 minutes I would normally be here for an hour I like my hair starts frizzing up because of the heat it was pretty bad um it's giving cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you it's just hard cause I wanna do this We'll do that. Okay, my battery's dying. Okay, yes. End result, Brazilian blowout, amazing. I Nothing works except the Revlon blow dry brush. Nothing. I don't know how to blow dry my own hair, and I feel like I need like a good pull. But thank you for watching. This was a very chatty video. I hope you enjoy um, more videos to come, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh